The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues. And you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by, by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. The Gospel of the Lord. In the season of joy, Christmas joy, spent much time in prayer, as I've had a lot of time in the last few days to spend some time in prayer and contemplating what it all means, not being able to celebrate public masses for a few days as I recovered, and thinking about what is it, what is this joy that we, we are celebrating today, and, and why does the church jump right into St. Stephen's uh, feast day? Because St. Stephen had authentic joy, a joy that is that needs to be heard throughout all of humanity at this very moment of life, where people are denying the reality that things are going downhill as quick as possible, yet the joy that God brings is available to each and every one of us for every moment of the day, as it was for Stephen in this very, very crazy and sad moment where he's speaking the truth to the Hellenistic Jews, those of the Diaspora. The ones who were, who were not in Jerusalem, not in Israel. And they, like people of today, are completely content in living in their own lie. And not looking at what is laying before them. The evidence is clear in Christ Jesus. He fulfills every, every prophecy written in the Hebrew Scriptures. And, 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 and Stephen lays that out clearly. That's why they can't deny him, because he's simply using Scripture. He's simply using Scripture. That's all he's doing. He's telling them the truth. This is who this man is, who he, he is, who he was, who he is for eternity. And they cannot contain themselves. Therefore, their emotions take over. That's when you know you've lost your argument. Their emotions take over, and they kill him. They kill him. Why? Because of the name of Jesus, as we heard in our gospel. They kill him because Jesus Christ is Lord, and he has told them the truth. But unfortunately, we live in a world which consistently loves to live in lies, loves to live in the fact that we create our own universe. We create our own world. We are not subject to anybody else but ourselves, and therefore everybody becomes a little pope, or worse, a little god. And we create our own world, and therefore don't impinge upon my world with your silliness about some prophecy. Even when (laughs) the one who fulfills the prophecy dies on a cross and walks out of the tomb three days later. And continues to do what he had always been doing. Proclaiming the good news that there is a God, and he loves you, and he wants to be with you for all eternity. And what joy, what joy Stephen had in this moment as he looked up and saw Jesus Christ opening his arms to him as he received the punishment of the unbeliever, which should bring each and every one of us an incredible amount of joy. Stephen was not afraid to speak the truth in a difficult difficult moment. He had nothing but the truth to say. In our world today, we find it difficult to speak the truth because we don't want to be rejected from the world. We don't want to be mocked by our friends, our families, our brothers and sisters, our parents, our grandparents. Yet we're told in Scripture today that they, won't, they will not not only reject you, they will kill you, which has proven true time and time again. When will we wake up, dear believers? This is what we must believe, and we know it's true. 
And therefore, when we're able to speak the truth, when we're able to come before our families, our friends, our co-workers, our enemies, and say, you need Jesus. You need the fullness of God in your life. He has come to set you free from sin and death. Everything that you could possibly imagine that is bad in your life can be completely turned upside down in the person of Jesus Christ, who is God, who is man, who is our Savior. And when they reject us, we simply rejoice, do a dance, and move on. If they persecute you, great! Do you know how much your, 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 the, the heavens rejoice? Rejoice when you're able to speak the truth to everyone we meet and not to cower under the weight of a culture, of a world, of a political system that has lost its way. Oh, how weak we are, how weak I am in these moments. But Stephen comes as a model for us to stand up and say, no, today I'm going to tell you about Jesus either with my life, my words, with my money, with my heart, with everything that I am. I'm going to tell you about Jesus. If you choose to reject him, that's your choice. We live as free children of God. But if you choose to embrace him, great, great mercy will come upon you. Glories of heaven will be for you and persecution will come to you. But we know it doesn't matter. Because as Stephen looked to heaven as he was being stoned to death, he was received into the arms of God. And that's what we know will happen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.